Good morning YouTube, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. Thomas here. Today we are waking up in beautiful Mexican hut. We found a campsite um, right here on a river and behind we are here in this big canyon which is just spectacular. Um, the sun is just rising, it's at 6 o'clock or so. Well, it's not just rising, but it's still not high up, so it's uh, manageable, it's not too hot. And uh, we met some people out there, uh, for they're traveling from Mexico, and they're going all the way to Alaska from Veracruz in Mexico. Today I'll be starting heading back home slowly, and I will separate uh, from the boys uh, and my friends here, uh, because they want to stay longer and uh, spend more time out here. Unfortunately, um, my wife uh, sprained her knee and uh, she needs some assistance because she's barely walking. And I'm out here uh, 2,000 kilometers away from home. So I will be trying to get home in the next uh, three days. Uh, There's still a little bit more to see on the way. Uh, anyway, so yeah, those Mexican pe people they just give us a great cup of Mexican coffee. So that's uh, that's the good start in the morning. Great cup of coffee and uh, nice people that we met last night. So let's uh, get out on the bike and I'll see you guys on the road. So leaving the beautiful Mexican hat just in front of me there and I have about 282 miles to cover to Salina I don't know if I'm gonna go any further after that or not uh, we'll see but uh, the goal is to get to Salina and uh, meet with my other friend Marius since I separated with those guys because they continuing a little bit further on this uh, ride or on this trip they have a little bit more time and me and Marius uh, the, basically we're starting heading back north it is uh, 33 degrees today uh, 
looking good so far a little bit of uh, black skies here and there let's hope i don't get caught in another thunderstorm like we did yesterday and uh, day before like pretty much every day uh, we have a brief moment with the rain heavy rain but i guess that's the nature here passing on the left valley of the gods again really beautiful place just look at that road I was just passing by through this little town it's called Bluff it's a very historic historic site there's a little fort in there I just passed uh, on the way here and this is a famous twin rocks that are standing just behind me uh, like uh, like I said uh, I drove about uh, 30 miles and again a different scenery so if I look around it looks totally different That's a pretty cool looking mountains with the rocks just sticking above it on the top part and back to those twin rocks twin rocks and the Africa twin those little towns here uh, they're mostly home to First Nation Navajo Just a minute ago, everything was red. Now it's sort of off red or brown, whatever. Totally different. And as quickly as uh, this landscape appeared, literally with it at uh, less than five minutes, it disappeared and back to the flat ground. Wild West landscape. I'm heading right now towards Tori and then I'll get another stretch going towards Salina. My only worry is because there is a river and it said it's a, oh, a river or a lake, uh, Lake Powell. And it said that the ferry is closed, but I'm not sure if that's the piece of the road that they mean, or uh, on a different section, uh, the ferry will go takes you over the river. I'm just hoping that I don't have to come back because uh, there's no other way out of here, except uh, going to the, the way I'm going uh, towards Salina, or turn around back. Uh, at this point, it's like, uh, probably about a hundred kilometers and go back to Moab and back to I-70 so that's my biggest worry right now and this stretch of the road also just they put a sign so late that there is no fuel available for 84 miles and uh, when I entered the road there was no signs and I seen a couple towns so I was hoping that there's gonna be fuel on the way so now I'm at uh, less than three-quarter tank and I got probably another 60 miles miles to cover I should be okay but you never know 
So by the looks of it, uh, the, there is a bridge over the river. So hopefully my problem is solved at this point. I just uh, got to talk to some people from Germany uh, here in the camper. And uh, they told me that there should be a bridge. They're also traveling and uh, yeah, it looks on the map sort of, but um, the only problem is that when I was crossing onto this road, it was saying that the ferry is closed. So that's where I got kind of uh, a little bit of freaked out. And uh, yeah, I should be able to make it to the gas station at this point. So it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery, as you see. Uh, the landscape here is out of this world. It's like uh, being in a Western movie or a Marlboro uh, little commercial. Uh, spectacular, spectacular sceneries. So I drove already today uh, for about 200 kilometers and I still have uh, quite a bit to go. So yeah, let's get back on the road and rock and roll. crossing a Colorado River at this point over this awesome bridge and that's the section that had me worried for a bit Colorado River and we'll have a look wow that's quite deep down Once I got to the other side, the color changed on the right hand side. Cut out to get through. And another one in front of me. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We used to camp here three years ago. We set up the camping down on the bottom there behind me.
So Hanksville is my next town and that's where I will pull over and fill up most likely. And I'm not sure if I'll go through a capital reef or no, it would be nice to go through there. I'll, once I stop, I'll have a look on the map. Where, where is next? And it almost seems like I'm leaving all these uh, beautiful mountains behind me. And all those sculptures in a, are made out of the sand and the rock. Because most of it is actually red sand. It is one o'clock and I'm approaching Herajville. So hoping to get some fuel in there. Take me anywhere that you Just filled up in Hedersville and heading to Capella Reef uh, National Park. Capital Reef National Park, 37 miles. It's like a, everything like a hoodoo. It's 36 degrees at this moment. And it is 1.30 p.m. Oh, there is water finally in the river. Not a dry river, not much water, but a little bit at least. Check out all this gray stuff here. It looks like concrete. What a diverse landscape in Utah. Oh my gosh, it's getting really windy too. That area looks actually very depressing. It's nice, but it's depressing. Capital Reef National Park. Looks like it was raining here just uh, recently.
as an information center. I was here three years ago and we did the drive. I'm passing by today. I made a video on this as well. So I'm getting out of uh, Capitol Reef uh, National Park now and I have another 74 miles towards Salina. We have stayed also at this campsite three years ago. And it looks like I'm missing the rain all the time because the road is wet, but I didn't catch any rain. Uh, I thought uh, I'm gonna get caught in it and uh, cool off a bit, but nope, not this time. Uh, I think I put like 450 kilometers already. So a little bit more to go, 50 miles. Uh, I'm saying in miles because um, I'm looking at the total kilometers on my, uh, on my odometer, but uh, I have my GPS set to miles, so I have speed limit showing me in miles this way. It didn't even feel like I'm climbing up all the time, but I see still mountains in front of me. I just hope that uh, thunderstorm is gonna go sideways. I would hate setting up a tent again uh, when it's raining. And it looks like I caught the rain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's hope it's not too much. Again, the temperature dropped to 21 degrees. And the landscape keeps on changing. We got some actual trees here, but uh, looks like there was a fire around here at some point because all the trees are burned out. All right, so we stopped at Salina, did some grocery shopping, and now we're heading uh, towards some kind of a campsite, hopefully. Hey guys, after the long search, we managed to find a free campsite again. No charge, beautiful area, just on the other side of the big mountains, just here behind me, like you can probably see that, but it's uh, overexposed. And on this side, so overall, it was a very good riding day. Extremely hot, I'm, uh, I'm just exhausted. Uh, I went uh, through a couple beautiful national parks uh, with some amazing, amazing sceneries that were changing over and over again from one uh, scenery to another landscape and there was so much variety and uh, at the end of the day um, did the, my quick grocery shopping and uh, topped up the bike with fuel and now it's time to set up the tents. Uh, it is already 7 o'clock, so I started riding pretty much around 8 o'clock in the morning. So it was full day of riding, uh, a lot of miles. 
and uh, yeah, we're here. And I met up again with Mariusz. I left the other guys behind since we're heading back towards Calgary slowly. And most likely tomorrow uh, we will hit the Salt Lake Flats. Uh, the bo I think it's called Bonneville something. If I'm, I'll double check the map in the morning. I'm too tired to do that right now. As always, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. Cheers. Today, suppers of champion. Some sausages with cheese and a toasted bun. Doesn't get any better and life is good.